Lesson nine, part one, contraction rules for single vowels. Two vowels or a vowel and a diphthong are often united into a single long vowel or diphthong. This process is called contraction. Contraction does not always happen when two vowels or diphthongs come together in a word, but it consistently happens in the progressive tenses of contract verbs, which are verbs whose stems end in alpha, epsilon, or rho. And we've talked about contraction little bits here and there before as we've been studying other things and we said now why why does this become this we said oh it's a contraction we'll learn about those in lesson nine here we are we're learning about them in lesson nine um so if you'll remember back pretty much anytime we saw a circumflex um that happened with liquid verbs in the future um, that happened with some of our third declension endings where we had a couple of vowels and they blend together. That's what we're talking about. Um, now, in this particular lesson, we are particularly concerned with verbs that are called contract verbs. And those are verbs whose progressive or first stems end in alpha, epsilon, or rho. Because the stem ends in one of those letters, when a theme vowel gets added, we now have two vowels next to each other. And so contraction will always happen in the first stem for these verbs. So for example, you don't have to memorize these yet. We'll get to this later in the lesson. I think it's less, uh, lesson nine, part three. We'll actually study particularly what's happening here. But this is the kind of thing we're talking about. Laleo, the stem ends with an epsilon. And the, the theme vowel is a lengthened Omicron here. And so when the epsilon and omega get stuck next to each other, they don't like to stay there next to each other. The two vowels will sort of blend together and make just an omega and you see the circumflex. Now, not every time that there is contraction will there be a circumflex, but anytime you see a circumflex, contraction has happened. So technically speaking, if the, if the vowel had an accent to begin with, and then uh, it gets contracted, then it will now have a circumflex instead of whatever accent it had uh, previously. So not always will it have a circumflex because if there was no, if there was no accent there to begin with, uh, the accent will probably stay wherever the accent was. But if there was an accent, it has to change into a circumflex, which is a nice clue that you have contraction. La le ace becomes la lace, la le a becomes la le, la le amen becomes la lumen, la le ete becomes la lete, and la e usi becomes la lucy. And you might be looking at those and going, well, nothing actually happened there. Actually, something did happen, and we'll talk about it as we get to the rules. Now, even though these verbs are listed in the vocabulary in their uncontracted form, such as la le o, they never show up in scripture that way. It would only show up in scripture as la lo for the present act of the first person singular because it has to contract. They're listed in their uncontracted form in the vocabulary so that you can know what vowel is in the stem. Otherwise, you would have no idea. Now, remember, some vowels are short. And some are long and some can be neither. This is going to be very important for how we how we form some of our contractions. So alpha can either be short or long. And epsilon is a short vowel that lengthens into an eta. Iota can be short or long. Omicron is a long vowel that lengthens into an omega. And upsilon can either be long or short. So if you think of these maybe in your mind as A-E-I-O-U, then you can think every other one has a corresponding long form. And eta is the long of epsilon, omega is the long of omicron. That one's not hard. I feel like eta, for an English speaker, you may be tempted to put it up there with an alpha, but it goes with the epsilon. So if you're thinking every other, that might help you remember it, or however it works in your brain for you to remember it. Now note, Often when vowels contract, a vowel will lengthen. So that is why we need to know which vowels correspond to which one so that we know how to lengthen them. Now, if an alpha lengthens, it normally becomes an alpha, but it also often becomes an eta as we've seen with augments before. So just watch out for that one. Um, <laughs> 
Alpha can occasionally slide into an eta, and it will do that sometimes. Um, alphas are more closely related to epsilons and etas than any of the other valves are related as well. So just watch out for that a bit, and we'll we'll make we'll make good note of that as we see it. So summary: contraction is when two vowels or a vowel and a diphthong join together and make a single syllable. A circumflex often shows up when a verb contracts. Make sure you know which vowels are long and short.